All right, so good day, everyone. We are hanging out in Junction City, Oregon. Got the train going by, beautiful summer day here, but I found this Country Coach Intrigue, and we're hanging out here with Terry Smith at Kenai Coach. Everybody? Hi. Hey, so Terry is a great guy. I'm sure you've seen him. If you follow me, you more than likely follow my great friend, Andrew Steele. But Terry has a great wealth of knowledge in selling motorhomes. If you do want to take a look at some motorhomes and you're serious about buying, check out his website and then you can find his contact information below. But I'm gonna shoot this beautiful country coach for you. Terry's gonna go take care of some more business. We'll probably get him to do a full walk around on one of these coaches here soon. But thanks Terry for letting us have some of your time and letting us take out this beautiful specimen. You bet, thank you Brian. Thank you Terry. So here we are, we've got this beautiful country coach, Intrigue. It's gonna be unit number 11695. So this is, I mean, he just brought this up from Northern California, stored inside, no checking. I mean, this is a cream puff, whatever it be. It has that 38 foot, super short turning radius. I'm gonna give you a shot right now of the beautiful U-turn that Terry did in this coach when he was bringing it in here to the lot. As you can see here, it's making it right around that corner, got that tag axle lift. I mean, this thing is an excellent coach for that. But as you saw there, it was excellent turning radius. I mean, nice short unit. Nice thing is you've got two slide rooms on this coach. So when you're out RVing, you can get these day bay doors all the way open. Your very first one here is gonna be your propane tank. I mean, I hadn't walked this coach. I just opened this door for the first time. I mean, I'm gonna have to follow my boy Andrew Steele and say, look at how nice these stickers are. I mean, and then the guy's taking the time to sheet metal off. If you wanna put a few things in here for storage, it's got that sheet metal in the bottom, but it's still vented through the back side, so you don't have to worry about an explosion or anything for an LP leak. Still vented well. Got that fuel tank up here in the front. That really helps to make these coaches drive well. It's got the one that's square in the middle. Excellent that way. We're gonna take, oh, look at this. We've got cafe doors. So they just come up and out of the way. Looks like we may need some struts, but this coach hasn't been PDI'd or anything. I mean, and this coach is in pristine condition. As you can see here, the door comes up and out of your way. You've got that slide tray. We'll pull that out for you here in a minute. We'll let this door come down, and close up. I mean, let's let you hear this door close. I mean, nice and solid. I mean, beautiful coach. Let's go ahead and open this one up. This one here, it looks like the uh, gas struts on this door are perfectly fine, but don't let that uh, throw you off on this coach. I just want to be 100% transparent. Those bay door struts will be, I'm sure, changed before delivery after he gets done doing the PDI. Nice pull-out slide tray. We'll show you how this all works. This nice storage here on it. Got some power coming into here. Got this side door here with the small TV. Looks like it comes out, yep. Then you can swing that around, shove that back in, get some TV viewing out here. It could use some newer TV upgrades. I mean, this coach is pristine, excellent condition. Nice little addition out here, probably a pull out drawer here. Oh, when you find a coach that's clean, you're gonna find some rags for wiping it down, keeping it cherry. Got the manual for the TV here. A lot of care there with the documents stand. You've got that cotton terry cloth. So clearly this guy here really loved this coach. Let's go ahead and run this back in. Boom. We'll let this door close. I mean, beautiful, the closure of these doors. In this bay here, we're probably gonna find an aqua hot, so that's really nice. You don't have the hurricane, you're up into the aqua hots, more serviceability. You got your control board over here on the right, fuel filter, water separator there on the right, and your overflow bottle there. 
so excellent condition i mean just look at how clean these bays are now i was just talking to terry and he's like this coach has only been washed hasn't been polished hasn't had the complete detail done or anything yet so i mean really really clean coach let's take a look here in the battery compartment wow look at these so we got some 2019 battery on the engine start i'm gonna say the house batteries are the same year i mean because they're actually these are three of 21 so it looks like you got some brand new house batteries look at this this stuff has usually got some sort of road to spray or something on it while we're in here we'll kind of give you a little tech stuff so those are going to be all your unswitched um powers for the chassis for the dash radio for the house disconnect switch all those things those are your core fuses that are not turned off so engine ecm and stuff like that got all the wire numbers in here so you can follow all the cables super super clean coach i mean man i don't want to try to act like this guy but this thing is super super cherry i mean this has got my excitement like that marathon video that i did last week when i was down in arizona I and mean, this is a beautiful coach here back here you've got some spare wires the ones that are labeled b go to the bay the ones labeled d go to the dash and the ones labeled g go to the galley so a little more tech information you've got some house fuses located in here behind this panel gonna be for your ceiling lights and so on and so forth i mean fuel filters excellent condition this is your tow board behind here you're gonna have your fuses for your tow plug all intrigue products and higher do have a tow board so if you ever have problems with your tow plug not lighting up your trailer lights you'll want to find the tow plug beautiful coach i mean this is just an excellent condition let's see this engine in here boom so we've got that cummins power plant in there i mean i don't know how well the lighting is but that thing is cherry looking i mean I know you're gonna comment below I think that guy's lying he had it completely detailed but I don't think that's the case I mean this thing is cherry excellent looking coach got your shore cord reel back here in the back nice metal door got that rag in there to wipe that cord down as you put it away nice slide room here those fabrics are in perfect condition the threads are all excellent shape up there on those carefree topper fabrics the same on this forward one I mean this is a beautiful coach let's give you all a view of the plumbing bay boom i mean beautiful plumbing bay got that black tank flush you've got the other sewer flush so you get gray tank flush sewer flush hook short uh sewer hose holder there got your manual knife valves got that faucet out here for washing off the dog i mean this is a beautiful beautiful coach you got your gravity fill here and your city water in Can we go in? um terry the key master is just over there because i don't think they're locked but okay. he'll get you taken care of so beautiful coach here let's take a look at this other side bay here good access now you're not going to have that cafe bay door here because you've got that slide room so you just have the regular tilt up have that again here beautiful coach nice shelf added in here across the top got this slide tray here again it's got the factory front windshield shun shades those are really nice to keep the temperatures down there and then this is more than likely going to be your generator so you've got an 8k gen i mean this coach is super super clean i'm gonna say the only time it maybe has been driven in the rain is the time terry brought it up from redding and he had it washed and that's all he's done to it since then let's go down the andrew steel road look at this factory sticker excellent condition this auto gen sticker here all these across the bottom i mean that generator is cleaner than the one in my coach that thing is in excellent condition you're going to have your fuel access door here you'll have one of those on the other sides also this is going to be your front run box so that way uh you've got some chassis fuses that are in here you've got your hwh brain here where you can calibrate your leveling that's what this board is here 
Got that pump for the two slides, the auxiliary air for the leveling, windshield washer fluid, vacuum pump, nice little air fitting there to be able to fill up some tires on the bicycle or something like that. So we don't have a gen access. So one thing is nice about having that generator on the side like that too, is this mask won't rattle, won't do anything. You don't have to worry about it running in or out. So beautiful coach. I mean, this entry step, this video might be a little longer than some of my others because I'm spending so much time on the outside of this. I'm going to be transparent though. This wheel does need some polishing, but my understanding is he's actually got a polisher coming in to take care of those. Let's see if we can find a date code on these tires. So they're three of 15. Michelin say they're good for seven years. So there would be about a year left in the tire. I'm sure that you could uh, get hooked up and get some uh, new tires on there, get this thing all dialed in. But beautiful day here. Let's go inside and take a look at this coach. coach has not been vacuumed or interior detailed or anything this is the way it came in this is a fresh arrival i don't know if it is even on terry's web page yet if not if you're serious about buying this coach and you want to have some questions answered about it you can always feel free to email me at brianmoto773 at gmail or you can reach out to terry but i can pretty much answer a lot of questions about this coach beautiful coach so let's get started up here in the cockpit area. We'll start up high here. Like I said, this coach is 100% stock. It has not had anything changed. So you've got that factory Bose, got the good old VCR. You got that selector box across the very top. Now you're gonna have that trace inverter. You're gonna have aqua hot, new control switches in there. Don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Generator. 434 hours on that thing so super low hours on the gen and then your battery monitoring here let's go across the very front all stock got that pioneer changer the room select and then your awning controls now this has that extra long carefree by colorado mirage on it i'm gonna say that's not stock i think that's added in but it may be we'll check on the build sheet when we get back there to the back Got that factory TV right here. Over here to the left, a little bit of cabinet. So it does kind of leave you an option to be able to bring a TV from here, clear over to here and still not be obtrusive and have to get away with too much cabinet work. Got these Pioneer speakers in the ceiling. Now those are for the dash radio. We'll come over here. Exact same layout as my 96 Intrigue pretty much. Except um, the only thing is the gauge layout, of course. You've got that vehicle management system and the radio a little bit up higher there. Park brake transmission. All that layout is pretty much the same. Up here in the very front, at your feet, you do have a nice little box here, which is kind of convenient. You can throw your gloves, things like that right here by the entry door. It's got that snack tray. A lot of people love that snack tray. I, uh, I had to delete it but that's because I just felt like I needed that new custom coach. Let's take a look at the quality of these seats. I mean, they're perfect. I mean, it, I wouldn't expect it anything less from the outside of it. I mean, I don't think that's even a tear. Maybe that's a little tiny, tiny blemish in the seat. I mean, that's how, I mean, it's just barely dirty from being used. Flip those up out of the way. This coach has got 34,763 miles on it. It's got the vehicle management system. This passenger seat just as nice. It's got that entry step cover so that way the dog doesn't drop the ball down in the step wheel while you're going down the road. Switch operated. 
nice large window here to be able to look out into that RV park at that dinette table right here. This floor plan reminds me a lot of mine, except just uh, stretched out a little bit. You got that nice computer desk instead of the couch. And then you've still got this nice flip out here with a drawer in the bottom of it. Go ahead and release the lock, pull that out. You've got the factory country coach, even in, look at, they've got the country coach swoosh cut out in them. Those are for the entry step. Now this is gonna be a nice villa. I'm sure you've heard me talk about that. It's probably one of my favorite manufacturers in the couch game. And then this will be a jackknife. So you just grab this lower area right here, pull up, and then boom. You've got a little sleeping area right here. All right, so we've got that put back away. Nice cabinet here on the end for some more storage. This little window box over the top with some nice puck lights in it. Nice switches right here. But so that's the dinette area there. Let's go ahead and get these cabinet doors and drawers open for you. Boom. So we've got everything opened up for you. Looks like we've got probably the owner's box right here with all the paperwork in it. Yep. Something else that goes with the coach because this guy was meticulous, made sure everything was with it. You got this little magazine rack here at the end. Large coma cabinet here. We've even got a spot to hang some more glasses over there. We'll get to. But I wanted to give you guys all a view with how much cabinet space and with all the cabinets open in this coach. We've got the drawers out here. Got this storage here. You've got the racks here for the solid surfaces for the cooktop and for the sink. Nice stainless steel sink. And then here we're going to have that propane cooktop two burners and then it looks like a newer advantium ge profile convection oven but someone had mentioned too with being a doing the videos like this with all the doors open that you don't get a feel for these cabinets so i just want to give you let you know i mean these nice solid door drawer uh, doors and then nice doors down here these drawers nice slides boom slide those suckers right in just like that this here has actually been added in this actually was not open from the factory as you can see you've got a couple caps here truthful with you one's missing here but so they've added some more storage into there that's one of the i want to say a local cabinet shop did that for him and they probably did that bay entertainment also but beautiful coach nice galley area we'll close these up Got your scrub daddy holder here. And then more storage under here. You got a light back here in the back. Be able to light it up in case it's dark in the evening. But let's get our way back to the bedroom and the shower area. You do have this Norcold four door refrigerator here. A couple drawers on the very bottom of it. Got this pocket door here. Nice and easy. Nice little catch there at the bottom. Got double stage pocket doors here. The opener here, grab this. Oh, it's two stage. And then we've got another side over here. So it's two separate doors. You can close that up, separate the shower from the bedroom. Beautiful coach, a couple towel bars added in here. We'll go ahead and latch these doors back up for transit. We'll do this forward one also. Here we are in the toilet room. Looks like we've got a nice basic flip flap. Oh, nope. We're going to have the Royal Flush Headhunter in here. So it's got the Headhunter toilet, small cabinet here, another cabinet above it. Got that fantastic fan switch for the water pump in case you catch yourself in here. These beautiful cabinets here now. I mean, I've done a lot of country coach tours and I've covered it before, but all nice carpeted cabinets. Nice storage over here in the toilet room above the sink. Really like this backsplash tile in here. This countertop, it, it doesn't get dated. Something about this countertop's really nice. Storage here under the sink. Got a little trash can. I'm sure uh, Terry probably let you have that with the coach. 
And then over here on this side, it will be transparent. Looks like we got an outlet. It's got a little crack in it, but that can be replaced. No problem at all. I mean, this coach is so cherry. 37,000 miles. Um, nice drawers here. More storage here under the sink. Up here, we're going to have a little bit of country coach information. Slide room control for the bedroom. And then, as I said, this is going to be coach 116. Nine four, a 38 foot sweet escape if i remember correctly this is a 2004 coach but beautiful coach nice large shower area you've got that step there you got the, all that area to be able to set your soaps let's just open this thing up and let you guys all get a good view in here you got that shower light in here but like i said place to put your soap bars all this beautiful step in the bottom this coach is super clean super clean love this thing all right so now we made our way back here to the bedroom we've got all these cabinets here all these cabinets up high these are going to be the nice drawers we'll get those all open for you and let's see what everything has back here in the back all right so there we go we've got all the drawers open so you can see what's going on here lots of side room there got that stuff open there looks like you got a radiant heat controller so all this tile floor is going to be heated super modern Got the touch-up paint here. Probably something else that has to do with the coach in this box. I mean, you got the Splend-D soap for the Splend-D washer-dryer combo there. Your 110-volt panel. Caution, no storage back in there. That's going to be your transfer switch and your surge guard. Storage below that. Nice, large wardrobe closet. Looks like you've got those extra folding chairs that go up in the front. Nice shelf here. A good 70 inches of bar length across there. Nice lights in here. Got that cedar lining across the top of the cabinets. Over here on the driver's side, storage above the bed. Still super high. I mean, let's give you an idea. I mean, when you're sitting in here, there's you're not going to get up and hit your head on the cabinets. I mean, unless you're a lot taller than me. I'm six foot. So, I mean, right there, that shows you that there's lots of room. I just got my eye drawn over here to this cool wall light, which is a really neat looking little fixture. Now this coach, no power blinds, so it's going to have manual pull up and down blinds. Got your switches just above your head here. Got a little light bulb out in it. Oh, looks like we're missing a light bulb, but there'll be no problem getting that replaced out for you. It's got that quality door. Southco latches. Nice, solid latches there. I mean, this is a beautiful coach, so... All right, everybody, I want to say that uh, this coach is coming in at 139. Like I said, about 40, actually 37 and change, 1,000 miles. Beautiful coach. If you're serious about this, hit up Terry here at Kenai Coach Sales in Junction City, Oregon, or shoot me an email and I can get any questions you want answered. Kind of give you some ideas of price, this, that, and the other. And then I'll put you through to Terry and we can get you all wrapped up on this. But this is a super beautiful coach. I want to thank everybody for spending that time to watch this tour. I know it was a little longer than some of the others, but this thing's so beautiful. I just really wanted to give you all a good tour. I mean, these window boxes, the Moultrie fabrics, the nice light maple wood. I mean, this is a super cool coach. So everybody, take that time to subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate everyone that is. Comment below what you think of this coach, and I hope everybody has a great day. Hit the like button, but till next time, everyone, really appreciate it. Bye-bye.